Netflix hasn't seen the last reaction to the Jeffrey Dahmer story yet. Things are getting heated with Jeffrey's dad, Lionel Dahmer, who is planning to sue Netflix and make them pay. When Netflix set out to make the show Monster the Jeffrey Dahmer Story, they figured there might be a lot of reactions from the public, especially the victims' families. But what they didn't know is that Jeffrey's dad would be coming after them. In an interview with Evan Peters, who played Jeff in the show, he mentioned that the show wasn't about Jeffrey, but the people who suffered through him. And that was that's why their main focus from the beginning was to ensure their roles didn't get misinterpreted by the victims' families, because they knew they would get affected the most. Evan said it felt important to be respectful to the victims, to the victims' families, to try and tell the story as authentically as we could. So Netflix had to go the extra mile just to put out the show so that it didn't look like a documentary, or like they made it from Jeff's point of view. But instead, it was shown to be just as dark for everyone who sees the story to understand the type of horror Jeffrey caused for society, and how he was allowed to do this for a long time before getting caught. And despite Netflix's efforts to show the victim's point of view, starting from what their background was like to their hopes for a great future, their families have been outraged instead and have reacted bitterly to the show. Then, the loose end Netflix never cared for because the show was never about making Jeff a hero or a victim of growing up differently, but being portrayed just like the monster he was has come back to haunt them. Lionel Dahmer is angry about how Netflix has portrayed his son Jeff, but even angrier about how he got portrayed himself. In the show, Lionel is a responsible father who is interested in the growth of his children, but he was barely ever around as Jeff becomes a young adult, which is when his dark side begins to take over. And seeing how Lionel left Jeff's care in the hands of his barely stable mother then showed how Lionel lacked a bit of being the father that young Jeff needed. Also, Netflix portrayed Lionel as the reason Jeff might have turned out the way he did, from when he picked up unconscious animals from the road to dissecting them with Jeff and teaching Jeff how to preserve some of the body parts with chemicals, you could say that he made Jeff interested in things like that. However, the strange hobby Lionel picked up with his son was no longer enough for Jeff as he went on to become a big danger to the community. And at the time he was discovered and caught, Lionel showed that he was shocked too as he never would have imagined his son could cause that much horror. As a father, Lionel was surprised and traumatized by his son's actions because the father never thought Jeff could be dangerous. When the call came for Lionel to come into the police precinct, for a criminal case Jeff was involved with in the show, he said he had first thought Jeff was the victim. So, finding out that Jeff was a monster broke him. He became so broken that in some of the show scenes, Lionel admitted to his wife Shari that he might have passed his dark genes to Jeff. In his words, Lionel said when he was about the same age as Jeff, he had had bad thoughts about doing terrible things to a girl, but that, unlike Jeff, he couldn't go through with it. So, for Jeff to have gotten enough to nurture the idea and carry it out showed how careful careless Lionel was in Jeff's case, and that's one of the reasons the father is angry. Lionel's assistant, who preferred the name Jeb to avoid getting attacked, said that Lionel was a very caring father who got caught in the middle of something bigger than him, and he's not pleased with how Netflix has played him out. In some ways, Lionel could see himself as a victim too, because what he discovered about Jeff and how he caused pain for many families is a nightmare no parent is prepared to face. And he's even more pissed that Netflix never contacted him before releasing the show, and the little he has seen of the series has made him sad about how they made his role as a father appear negative. So, Netflix figured the shock his son gave him wasn't enough and decided to give him an even bigger one that's not so exactly accurate. And for this, Lionel isn't just coming for Netflix because of Monster the Jeffrey Dahmer story, he's also irritated that Netflix used the direct tape recordings from his son's legal team to make a docuseries with the title The Jeffrey Dahmer Tapes Without Asking. Jeff's father being angry about Netflix not getting his permission seems understandable, as he wasn't prepared for the fresh attention the Jeffrey Dahmer stories are getting. These new shows by Netflix have started a kind of cult among people who are fascinated by Jeff, and instead of the show being about victims like Netflix intended, Jeff has been getting most of the recognition. And these so-called fans of this dangerous criminal are going as far as dressing up as Jeff for Halloween, and are even getting up to more crazy things. So Lionel is scared 
because these same people have been trying to show up at his house since Netflix shows got popular. Since his son's crimes happened, Lionel has retired into a quiet life in Ohio, but this seems to no longer be the case, as he now carries dangerous arms to protect himself, and even had to put a no trespassing tag on his property, according to Jeb. The assistant also mentioned that from what he saw and knew, Netflix didn't contact Lionel about the show, and he thinks for a show about his son, it was quite insensitive of Netflix to do something like that. So Jeb confirmed that Lionel and his lawyers are getting ready to take Netflix to court when he said, I've personally talked to a few lawyers and we've talked to his publisher about it due to all the chaos that's going on and the stories we've seen. Lionel and his power of attorney are gathering information and looking at a possible lawsuit against the production team or possibly Netflix. Jeb tried justifying Lionel's need to sue when he said it was okay to seek damages if there was no talk or agreement between the parties involved. And in this case, Netflix didn't care about Lionel's well-being or what type of danger they were exposing to the aging man. If Lionel had his way, he wouldn't love for any series like Monster the Jeffrey Dahmer Story or the documentary to be out for viewing. According to him, his book, A Father's Story, that he released after Jeff got sentenced, is enough to tell the world what happened with Jeff and a little about his victims. Lionel thinks Netflix made most of the show up for attention and drama by glamorizing his son's crimes and, most especially, the way he talked or related to his victims. While speaking for Lionel, Jeb said every other thing on the popular show got assumed as the real facts that should have been made public are in Lionel's books. Jeb said everything else is glamorized and provides attention to details that aren't proven facts. They don't know the conversations between Jeff and the victims. None of this has been good for him. When Lionel claims Netflix glamorized Jeff's crimes, it's as though many of the precautions Netflix took in making the film backfired because, according to Evan Peters, they made sure the last thing they needed on screen was to polish Jeff's crimes. The actor had said, You need to have certain plot points because he did these things, but you don't need to embellish them. You know, we get it. You don't need to see it over and over again. And they kept to this so as not to offend the affected parties who could get traumatized for seeing what their loved ones went through. But now, Jeff's dad is the one who's taking action against Netflix for profiting on his son's horror. Before now, there have been rumors Rumors that Lionel has been making money off his son's crimes for when he published the book in 1994 to these new Netflix shows, but Jeb said that's not entirely true. If anything, Netflix is the only party making money off Jeff's crimes, as Lionel didn't get paid for any of the two shows about his son. And with the way the Jeffrey Dahmer story made continuous references to Lionel's book, A Father's Story, many viewers have assumed it was to promote the book. But Jeb said that's not the case. These assumptions have only caused more trouble for Lionel because the affected family families are getting involved and coming for Lionel instead of Netflix, who started the new craze for the story. Jeb said, Some people call him slime or scum. There's a lot of people who say he shouldn't be profiting off this. He's not. He hasn't made a dime off any of this. If anything, he'll have to pay extra to stop this. Then he also mentioned how many stories began circulating after the show's release, with which the biggest one was that Lionel sold Jeff's iconic glasses for $150,000, which is false. He said most of these pieces of information are only making the victims' families rise to Lionel, as there was a lawsuit that Lionel should never make any profit from whatever story had to do with Jeff. So, since Netflix is the cause of these new nightmares that Lionel is trying to put behind himself, Jeb doesn't see why Lionel shouldn't sue Netflix and make them understand the damages they've caused him. Do you think Jeffrey Dahmer's father has the right to sue Netflix? Share your thoughts in the comments and thanks for watching.